Apparently, you can make $107 in only 15 minutes from this easy delivery side hustle. So how you can qualify and do the same. So one content creator has made more than $100 through a quick delivery side hustle that took just minutes. According to Indeed, the average hourly pay for delivery drivers is a little over $22. When it comes to DoorDash in particular, the base pay is determined by the distance, estimated time, as well as the desirability of the order, according to the delivery service. But there are also tips which could considerably boost your earnings, depending on the customer. And one TikToker who goes by Deliver Easy has scored a total of $106.81 from one DoorDash side hustle. His content consists of DoorDash related content from showing off earnings to earning extra money through the delivery service. So here's what he did and how you can follow in his footsteps to potentially do the same. So how to qualify and what he did. First, you need to know a couple of things. That includes starting off by signing up as a Dasher, which basically just download the DoorDash app. Once approved, you can start delivering orders. However, you might be limiting your earnings this way, and this is because traditional Dashers are limited in the size of deliveries that they can engage with. And if you're looking to earn more money, you'll need to qualify for the large order program. To be eligible, you must meet two of the following requirements. Complete at least 100 deliveries in the past month. Have at least 200 lifetime deliveries, the total number of deliveries made. Have an average star rating of at least 4.7 in the past month, and have a completion rate of at least 95% in the past month. In other words, you may need some time to qualify for the program. But here's the thing, if you're already like door dashing, if you're already doing this as kind of like a side gig, side hustle kind of thing, then you're probably either already got the requirements checked off or pretty close. So Also keep in mind that this is an invitation-only program. Well, that's kind of lame. But if you qualify, DoorDash will send you an email with instructions on how to join. Deliver Easy, of course, is enrolled in the program and picked up a large order that consisted of around 31 pizza pies, and the subtotal was $572.25. This was easily the largest order I had ever done, he said at the time of the video. While Deliver Easy only received $2.50 from DoorDash's base pay, he got a $104.31 tip. And the best part was it only took him 15 to 20 minutes to complete, he claimed. Okay. So, I don't think this is necessarily a wrong way to go about trying to make some money, right? In terms of a side hustle, in terms of like ranking, I think it's really ideal only if you're already door dashing. If you're already are doing like Uber sort of stuff, then it kind of makes sense because you just go like hand in hand with one another and you just add on more and more deliveries as time goes on and then you end up getting the requirements checked off and then you start making more and more money, right? I don't think this is a wrong way of trying to make more money if you're doing DoorDash. It's basically like your my, your main thing because a few of these big deliveries could end up paying for your week of expenses pretty much, which is pretty nice. The only problem with doing a side hustle like this is one, the money isn't the greatest. Two, it's not scalable. And that's what I find to be the biggest issue with this type of side hustle. Like, here's the thing. 
You only have a certain amount of time per day. Everyone only has a certain amount of time that they have to do things in per day. So if the majority of your time is doing these cheap deliveries and then here and there, maybe these big ones, that's still not that much money overall. Like at that point, it'd probably be easier for you or make more sense to you to literally work a nine to five job, right? Because you're probably going to be making more money doing that long term. And also be consistent. There's a schedule and you're not going to be completely out of whack in your mind or your health. But doing this just on the side to help you pay off some debt is a viable option, right? So here's the thing. If you're wanting to like pay off your debt, get into a better financial situation, doing a side hustle like this is not a bad idea. This type of side hustle, this type of like money making is ideal for a short time. You really do not want to do door dashing or Uber as a career. Well, I mean, Uber, you could technically make good money, like a livable income from Uber, but there's going to be a lot of competition, maybe not be truly reliable, and you also have to factor in the cost of running your vehicle, which a lot of people who do Uber never actually do. They never actually factor in the wear and tear on their vehicle, which is a really big cost long term. So if you're in this type of situation where you're kind of thinking about doing this, I would honestly highly suggest not doing this sort of side hustle. Like if you want like a good side hustle that could potentially make you a lot of money, try to do something mainly dealing with like commission only or sales only, right? Because then you can have like a small amount of time available to you. And if you get one big sale, that could be enough money to pay off some cheap debt, save up like a tiny little emergency fund, maybe save up some money for like a new project, a new like toy that you want, maybe a cheap motorcycle, maybe a trip for your significant other, whatever, right? But it would make more sense to utilize a small amount of time for a much higher return than doing something where you're dedicating a lot of time for very little money, right? And look, I highly doubt most delivery drivers end up making over $22 per hour because that might be what they might be making like gross, but after all the costs combined, like once it's all like, you know, accounted for, they're probably making not much more than minimum wage. So it's just something to really factor in. Just because something sounds nice, like, you know, making $107 in 15 minutes sounds nice, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is, right? And by the way, if like $107 is going to be like a make it or break it for you financially situation, you have a lot of more bigger problems, right, to worry about than doing like a delivery side hustle because you're kind of like facing a like a situation where like if you do not do something, you're screwed, right? If you want to learn how to get out of debt and learn how I got out of debt and grew my net worth, go down below or go to 40inbox.com. We'll see you in future episodes.